Well, if you travel to the southern part of Idaho, you have probably crossed the Perrine Bridge leading into Twin Falls. It's an enormous expanse that is both beautiful and a bit terrifying when you experience it. Brenda Stanley tells us why this bridge and the gorge it crosses is more than just a great view. This is the Perrine Bridge, a breathtaking expanse that has been bringing people from one side of the Snake River Canyon to the other for over 40 years. Something that takes only seconds when it used to take a full day. Uh, the settlers would come to Shoshone, which is about 25 miles north of here because that's where the railroad was. Mm -hmm. And then they'd take a stagecoach down here to the south side of the canyon. So they'd wind their way down uh, the north side and cross on a, on a ferry and come back up the south side, and that's how you got to Twin Falls. In 1927, the original bridge was built. It was named the Intercounty Bridge, and at the time was the tallest bridge in the world. It was privately owned, and travelers were charged a 60-cent toll for passage across the gorge. At that time, uh, it was more of an impediment than something that could be valued. Uh, but over time, we've seen the recreational development, uh, you know, kayaking and stand-up paddleboarding on the river, fishing. Uh, we, we call it everything from the mild to the wild. The prime bridge you see today was built in 1976 and is now an easy access to the city with over 30,000 vehicles passing over it every day. But the bridge is also a focal point for so many different activities along the canyon rim and the river below. Miles of trails, both paved and dirt, follow the river and the rim of the canyon, giving breathtaking views. And what could be better than a relaxing float in a kayak, especially if you have a personal paddler? He's doing all the work. That's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. The, way it always is. Yeah. <laughs> the canyon and the river were once a barrier to commerce but now are a vital part of the Twin Falls economy. I'm excited to see the progress we've made in Twin Falls and other place in Idaho, places in Idaho where we're sort of embracing that natural beauty that we have, that natural recreation, um, and finding ways to capitalize on it in such a way that still preserves the asset, helps to maintain the things that we love to do uh, without overwhelming it with visitors, but also finding that as a, as a way to support the, the local economies throughout Idaho, particularly in rural Idaho. And one of those ways includes one of the most dangerous activities imaginable, base jumping off the bridge. Next week, we'll take you to the top of the Perrine Bridge and learn why it's the only bridge in the U.S. that allows people to jump without any regulations or rules. That's next week's On Idaho Gyms.